it's Friday, you know what that means. It's Food Truck Friday, and we are here with Flipside Asia, Kimberly Bolin and her brother. So excited. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having us. Okay, so talk to me about you've lived in Asia. Yes. Okay, so tell me what your culinary experience was like there. Well, you know, we just, my brother and I both lived in Asia, and so it was amazing to get to go to these beautiful fresh markets and be able to see all of the vegetables and the fish and the meat laid out and what was the freshest for the day. And we fell in love with the flavors of Asia. We fell in love with the whole freshness and the quality of what you could get and then make for that day. And we really wanted to do that. We wanted to kind of create something for Memphians to, to have um, with authentic flavors of Asia and fresh food and make it healthy all at the same time. And this is your menu here. Tell me um, what kinds of foods you have. What did you decide? Well, today um, we're doing everything from uh, Korean. We've got the Korean beef and broccoli bowl. We've got a, a Filipino pork adobo bowl. And because we look at the Philippines, it's like a, it's a homemade adobo actual recipe. Um, the Thai cashew chicken is an authentic Thai recipe because um, my friends uh, taught me how to make this. And uh, the spicy Thai minced pork. And then the veggie bowl, we want to have something always for the vegetarians and the vegans because you know, vegans need love too. Vegans need love too. Okay, that is my iPad down there. We know that's not yours. And your brother is lurking. He's lurking. <laughs> let's go inside. Okay. And let's check him out. And uh, we're going to see what is going on. And you're going to be making which dish? We're going to be making the um, Korean beef bulgogi bowl with mushrooms and okay. broccoli. Okay. So let's check this out. Hi, brother. Hi. <laughs> okay, so tell me about the ingredients. Okay, so first we're going to start with a little bit of oil. All right. Gonna You're going to help him. Or I am going to help him, yes. <laughs> Love it. How did you do this as a family business? Talk about that. Um, well, yeah, Kurt was in Vietnam. Uh -huh. That's sesame oil, by the way. Uh -huh. um, Kurt was in Vietnam, and the whole thing happened with COVID, and so he had to come back. Garlic. Uh -huh. Thank you for giving us the ingredients as you're going. Yes, it's hard to talk about life and it is. cook. So, it is. what's that there? This, this is already marinated um, shaved ribeye uh -huh. with onions. Uh -huh. And so, we add this next. Uh -huh. And yeah, so, we yeah. Let that cook. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, when Kurt came back after COVID, because Vietnam, uh, he was living over there working. And he. Basically, the country shut down, so we came back here. I mean, this is our home. We were both born here. That's why we say Asian flavors meant this made. I mean, clearly we're not Asian, but you know. Uh, but we did study um, all the dishes and, and how to make everything, and we have been in the kitchen for years together. <laughs> so we've done a lot of experimentation. Um, so when Kurt came back, we started cooking around and messing around in the kitchen, and people started asking us, hey, can you make this for me? Right. I don't want to go to the store, I don't want to go to a restaurant, can you make this for me during COVID? And we started cooking for neighborhoods. For neighborhoods, yeah, delivery. Little mushrooms. Yeah. Mushrooms, okay. Oh, and then These there's our- These are called our... beach mushrooms. They're, they're very small, but we, they're so cute. Is it hard to find the ingredients that you use? No, it's okay. not. It's okay. not. <laughs> um, all right, and so the mushrooms go in. And where do you usually park your wheels? Like, where well, do people find you? We sell um, a lot of our dishes at Cordelia's uh -huh. Marketplace in Harbor Town. And uh, we are at the Collierville Farmer's Market every Thursday morning. Oh, and great. And we are at the Cooper Young Farmer's Market on Saturdays. And then if you follow our website, you'll know where we are. Um, and we, we're on Instagram, so we tend to post that. Yesterday, I thought that the Asian night market was <laughs> happening, and it actually happens on July the 20th. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So we you were have everything. everything. You packed your whole... We packed this truck full of stuff, and we got oh there, and we were gosh. like, why is nobody here? Um, anyway, it's on July 20th, so we're going to be out there. Wow. That's going to be amazing. This looks like a good keto meal right here. Absolutely. And tell me about just the biggest dish that everybody asks for. What is your hottest? Uh, people love the cashew chicken. They love our curries because we do a vegan curry and we do a chicken curry. Um, the Thai curries are really big. The lettuce wraps. Um, the lettuce wraps are huge. Um, because we use a spicy Thai pork. Oh, okay. And, um, and we use all 
hand-breaded chicken. The hand-breaded chicken. I mean, we call it flip-side chicken, and it's... And we make our own homemade yum yum sauce with fresh ginger. And oh, it's amazing. wow. How do people follow you? Because, um, you know, can they order online and no, come? Or, okay, yet, order in person. Yes. And then, um, what are some of the ways to follow you so that we can see some uh, of your. Instagram, okay. Facebook, and then uh, we also have a website. Um, Asia. Let's look at the la the end dish with that skin. Okay. Look like. Can we sprinkle it with uh, fresh basil? Okay. And some scallions. I put it over here to keep cool. So. Oh. Uh, we do pickle all of our own vegetables, and so everything that we do, we have like um, we have our rice bowls and we put some pickled vegetables on top. Um, they're all homemade. Everything's homemade. Everything's fresh. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Flipside Asia, brother, sister, <laughs> Dynamo.